Hello guys, welcome back and today I'm going to be doing the 2015 to 2016 winter forecast outlook for the lower 48 states of the United States of America. Okay, so we have the temperature outlook here and you can see there is some sort of a jet stream setting up there from the northeast through the Ohio Valley and the Ozarks back through Kansas down into the California Bay Area. So basically what that is doing is pushing all of the low pressure systems southward to the area with the colder outlooks for temperature and then keeping the northern part of the U.S. warmer than average. So let's get into things. The 30% lower than average will stretch from Delaware down to northern South Carolina through central Tennessee up through the state line of Kansas and Oklahoma and then stretching down to the eastern New Mexico. Sorry about the low body voice that sounds like I'm talking over a radio. I'm just doing this straight up talking. I do not have a headset, which I do have available, but not on me at the time. So sorry about that. I will get that for the next video. So now for the 40% lower than average in the temperature outlook, we have central Florida up to South Carolina over much of the southeast, and then excluding Texas, it goes all the way over to the Arizona-New Mexico state line. That is where you will see 40% below average temperatures. Now for the 50% um, lower than average temperatures for the winter, we will be seeing much of Texas excluding the panhandle and south central Florida down through Miami. So like Orlando to Miami and then we have Dallas on the edge of that and Austin down through Houston. Now let's get into the normal to warmer average temperatures. So the northeast will be seeing normal temperatures for this time of year as well as the southern Midwest Ohio Valley through the Ozarks and down through the desert southwest. Michigan, including the Detroit area, down through Nebraska and much of Wyoming through southeastern Idaho into the San Francisco area down through LA will be seeing 30% above average temperatures for this time of year. The Upper Peninsula and the Northern Lower Peninsula of Michigan through much of Wisconsin, up through Southern Minnesota, much of South Dakota, over through Southern um, and Central um, Montana, and then Southern Idaho through Northern California will be seeing 40% above average temperatures for the winter. International Falls down through the Minneapolis-St. Paul area, up through North Dakota, Northern Montana, and then we go down under that 60% gap there, and then it ex expands again when we get into the Salem area of Oregon. That is the area that will be seeing 50% above average temperatures for this time of year. Northern Idaho and much of Washington State will be seeing um, higher average temperatures than the rest of the area for this time of year. And now for the precipitation outlook. So you can see that the jet stream is affecting this as well with the weather areas along the east coast down through the Gulf of Mexico and through the desert southwest. And then the drier areas up through the northwest and the midwest. And then the normal areas will be in that gap in between. Much of Texas through the desert southwest to the coast of San Diego, and then down through Louisiana, southern Louisiana that is, through much of Florida, and then up the east coast will be seeing 50% or more um, higher than average precipitation outlooks. That's mostly going to be rain, 
but it could be some sleet in there because part of that is in the winter battle zone and then on the east coast it will be mostly snow. 40% or more precipitation outlook that will be above average for that time of year goes inland New England down through south, extreme southeast Ohio down through the Tennessee Valley area, eastern Tennessee Valley, through the southeast, and up through northern Texas, western Oklahoma, the northern desert southwest, and then central California. Where we will be, we will be seeing just a little bit above average precipitation for the time of year will be Ohio, down through Kentucky, Tennessee, the western Tennessee Valley area, and then make a bend towards Arkansas and go up through Oklahoma into the Rocky Mountains and the Francisco Bay area. Areas where we, we will be seeing normal Average precipitation will be from the Detroit area down through Indianapolis and then make a bend at Little Rock and go up into the northern high plains and then go back down through the central Rocky Mountains and then extend again when you get to the west coast. So that includes like Sacramento and maybe Portland possibly and then obviously the areas near Fargo, Bismarck, Pierre, Mount Rushmore area, that is all going to be average for this time of year. The areas where we will be seeing the below average precipitation for this time of year will be in the Midwest and the Northwest. So we have a 30% below average from most of lower Michigan down through the St. Louis area, then bending up near Omaha back through the International Falls. The 40% for the Midwest below average will be the low peninsula of Michigan down through Iowa. In the Northwest, we are going to have dry conditions once again. 30% below average for precip this time of year will be from farther North Dakota down through Northwest Wyoming and then bending around Northern Nevada up through the Seattle area. 40% below average will be the Central Eastern Montana down through South, South Central Idaho and then up through Central Eastern Washington State, where we will be seeing the hottest, of, highest above average temperatures. I don't know if it will be that hot there for the winter. We'll be in western Montana, extreme eastern Wyoming, well, extreme northwestern Wyoming, eastern, extreme, I'm sorry, I cannot speak today, <laughs> extreme eastern Washington, and much of Idaho. I am sorry that it sounds like I am illiterate. I promise you I am not. It is just a terrible environment, and I do not have anything written down to say, so I'm just winging it, as people like to say. So, thank you for your cooperation. Now I will introduce the synopsis. I am not going to follow the cursor on the screen, as you might have noticed, because I recorded this not knowing that I would not record my voice. So let's start in the Northwest, where it will be warm and dry. So the drought will continue there, which is not good, because there's lots of wildfires up there right now, which are not very well contained. So now we will go down to the Dream in California, where it's going to be wet. So hopefully we'll get some mountain snow pack up there so that the cities of California can use that for their water supply. The yellow is in that area of the Rockies and, and through mm, 
the middle of the Panhandle of Texas will see average mountain snow and a little warmer than average. The red area in the northern Midwest through the northern high plains will be more warmer than average and little snow because of that jet stream kicking the systems to the south. In that gray area to the southeast of that, which is Michigan down through Kansas, temps will vary and precip will vary because it's in that area where it's just going to be normal. So expect hopefully normal winter, nothing too extreme on either side. The blue area is where we can see um, some normal snowfall and cold. And maybe in the northeast near the Massachusetts area, just like last year, we can see a, day, a couple bigger events, such as when from Juneau last year, where Dawson got three feet of snow. So we'll have to keep our eyes out on the lookout for that. South of that, we have the lighter blue, which is the wintry battle zone, where we will see sleet, snow, rain, anything you want or don't want, because that is right where the low pressure systems will kick being pushed from the jet stream. And lastly, we have the area where I cannot read very well, but it says wet and chilly, and that is the southeast up through the outer banks of North Carolina down through Texas. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to see more and hopefully with a better voice recorder, I will do so. So please comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff that you guys do. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later. Also, I am very sorry for the breaks in silence because when I did the original recording, I kind of said more than I did now because I was just babbling, rambling on. So, if you hear silence, your machine, okay, I sound old when I say that, your computer or device is not broken, it's just breaks in the audio. So, thank you for your cooperation and I'll see you guys next time.